This is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Clint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famer Mike Van Dees joining us here at Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weight. They don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show. Hey, what up? Happy Tuesday, the Jason Walker Show. It is Cat Grizz Week. You can weigh in who's going to win at Jay Walker Sports on the Twitter. Email Jason at JasonWalkerShow.com anytime this week. Who wins the Cat Grizz game? I can't call it that other name. But it's almost identical to last year situation. We'll talk about that. College game day. ESPN going to be on hand. I know Grizz fan is whiny about it, but why not Missoula? No. It chose Bozeman, so deal with it. I'm sure they'll be in Bozeman at some point. And who's going to be the guest picker? The celebrity guest picker. Got some names to throw out. You can weigh in on that as well, at Jay Walker Sports. Uh, you can watch the show on Facebook and Twitter. Rumble as well. Go to jasonwalkershow.com for anything and everything you may have missed. Coming up, it is also uh, state championship week. And we'll talk to you. Capital coach Kyle Mahelish about uh, the Bruins on the way coming up uh, a little bit later on. We'll talk to Levi Weshi of Bozeman on Thursday. Uh, Alex Eshelman's going to join us tomorrow. Sam Herder from Hero Sports FCS will join us as well. Uh, the opening segment, we like to call it the Walk Up, and it is brought to you by Montana Custom Log Homes, the premier log home company in the industry. Three distinct divisions so you can create the log home of your dreams and your budget. Just get a hold of them at yourcustomlog.com to get started today. Uh, so college game day in Bozeman, announcement made on Sunday, and uh, it's going to be moderately crazy in Bozeman this weekend. I know I've seen the setup, and they will be at the practice field right across from uh, Bobcat Stadium, Dice Field. So that is where you can set up uh, starting at 5 a.m. Saturday for, for, uh, for that. Get your signs. You can start lining up at what's 5 a.m.? Is that right? So it's going to be a good time in Bozeman. I will not be making the trip this year, surprisingly. I know, I know. I'm going to stay home. Been gone a lot with Providence uh, up in Great Falls, so going to stay home, watch the game with the little one and uh, my wife, and uh, enjoy the warmth of my home <laughs> instead of being down in Bozeman, as much as I would love to be down there. Just made that choice not to go. So. And it's ESPN game day going to be there. Kirk Herbstreit, Desmond Howard. I don't think Lee Corso is going to make it. Uh, Reese Davis. Pat McAfee, so, but yeah, a lot of Grizz fan upset. Oh, you could have came to Missoula last year for this game. Why didn't you? They didn't want to. And honestly, I think Bozeman is a better setup. You can argue about stadium. You can argue about all that you want. But as far as, you know, where college game day would set up close to the stadium, Bozeman's better. Right across Kagey. You got that whole practice field by the between Bobcat Stadium and the the tennis bubble to uh, to set up. And who's going to be the guest picker? Like I said, you can weigh in at Jay Walker Sports on the Twitter. You know Flint Rasmussen lobbying. Um, J.K. Simmons was thrown around. Dana Carvey was born in Missoula, the comedian and actor. Um, Bill Pullman used to teach. At MSU, the president in, in uh, Independence Day. Um, 
Troy Anderson plays, I don't think you can come on Sunday, so I don't think you could bring him back for that. Somebody mentioned John Mayer. No. Um, I know uh, I'd be behind this, but little Troy Ross, hashtag Troy Strong. His dad, Wes, put out on Twitter yesterday a little joke about, hey, how about this kid? You know, because both the cats and the Grizz have just absolutely loved Troy and the Ross family, Sister Kennedy included. So Danny Sprinkle, the head men's basketball coach at MSU, said or tweeted out, hey, we got tickets for the whole family. Kennedy and Troy can sit on the bench. And they'll even let Troy call a play. Maybe. So pretty cool. Pretty cool deal. I mean, Troy's one of eight kids that have beat a rare autoimmune disease in the entire country. So that would be a pretty cool pick. I don't know if Troy Troy froze up on 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 the Jason Walker show. I don't know if he'd be okay with all the ESPN people around. But it'd be a pretty cool deal if if little Troy could uh, could do it. So, uh, so more on that this week. Got your Montana High School football playoff state championships, Capital and Bozeman, taking place Friday night at Vigilante in Helena. The Class A championship is going to be Saturday, Central Billings at Lewistown. Class B. Couple, couple of surprises for me. Uh, Florence beat Jefferson forty to twenty three. Not sure if that's a big surprise, but Loyola upset Big Fork fourteen to six. So that one. Uh, so you'll have Loyola at Florence Saturday at one. In eight man belt at Saint Ignatius belt shut out Culbertson thirty eight nothing Saint Ignatius in a basketball score beat Fairview fifty four forty eight. So belt at St. Ignatius Saturday at 1. And in six-man, Broadview, Lavina, unbeaten at Big Sandy. Unbeaten, I believe. And how about Broadview, Lavina with a come-from-behind game uh, winner? They scored with, what, 30 seconds left to beat two-time defending champs Freud Medicine Lake, 35-34. I guess it's Medicine Lake Freud for football. but So Broadview, Lavina at Big Sandy. It's going to be a good, good weekend of, uh, of high school football, no question about that. State champions will be crowned, and then our fall sports will be over. Uh, state champs were crowned over the weekend down in uh, Bozeman, the all-class state volleyball tournament. Congratulations to the champs in AA. Um, it's a really good question. <laughs> uh, I just hit an absolute wrong button, so I don't know what we're going to do in here. All right, let me get back to that. Oh, technology is so fun when it works. All right, here are your champions in Double A: Billings Senior over Billings West. In Class A, Billings Central gets its third straight title. Huntley Project back in the winner's circle, 14th championship. They beat Shepherd. Townsend took third in Class B. And in State C, Manhattan Christian goes back-to-back beating Bridger. So congratulations. That is our auto concepts performance of the week. Now, look, we could easily go Marky Johnson of the Bobcats, National Offensive Player of the Week, 272 rushing yards, four touchdowns, and the blowout win over, speaking of basketball scores, 72 points the Cats put up, 63 the Grizz put up. It's not going to be 72-63 this week down in Bozeman. I'm guessing a little bit lower scoring. But uh, our auto contest performance of the week is all the state champs in volleyball. Well-deserved. You battle through the season. You battle through, some cases, districts, divisionals, and then state. Getting it done. So congratulations to, uh, to them. Uh, Carroll College, your Frontier Conference champs, along with College of Idaho on the football side. Carroll beat C of I in Caldwell. And uh, Carroll gets the auto bid to the NAI tournament as a 15 seed. They get to travel to Grandview, Iowa, which Grandview is really good. So good luck. Remember a couple of years ago during the COVID fake football spring season when Carol went to Morningside and got blitzed like 59 zip? I don't think that's going to happen this year. Carol's defense is really good. But the only frontier team to make it, 
this year. Some good basketball over the weekend. College hoops got underway on the D1 level last week. NAI has been playing for a few weeks. Had a great story, too, uh, on Saturday in Great Falls. Brian Tribble, who was a, what, 96, class of 96 from Great Falls High, he coaches at Campbellsville University, Harrodsburg, out of Kentucky. Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Brought his team up. So this is interesting. So Harrodsburg played... Last Monday, Tuesday, Thursday in Kentucky. Friday morning, they got on a flight, flew to Great Falls, drove to Northern to play the Skylights, and lost by, I think, nine or six. Drove back to Great Falls that night, played at Providence, and lost by 13 on Saturday, and then spent Sunday hanging around Coach Tribble's hometown of Great Falls. They went sledding. But uh, he had six girls that had never been on an airplane before. Brought them to Montana. But uh, good team. They were a really good team. And Providence just a little bit better that night. But uh, it was a it was real good, good, cool, feel-good moment for Coach Tribble. He goes, I, I hate to lose, but to bring my team back to Great Falls was pretty special. So I'm um, going to follow Harrodsburg with Great Falls native Brian Tribble as a uh, as the coach there. Uh, mentioned our auto contest performance of the week. And uh, speaking of performance, they are your auto enhancement professionals. Auto Concepts, just off uh, Highway 12 East in Helena. The best. If you want anything done, they get it done. And they get it done the right way. They are pretty, pretty dang awesome. Uh, there's basketball going on tonight in Billings. You've got the Rimrock rivalry. Is that what it's called? Uh, MSUB leading Rocky 39-31. So there you go. I'll be in Phoenix in about a month for a basketball tournament. I cannot wait to get down to Phoenix and get out of the cold. You know, I grew up in Montana, born and raised state of Montana. I've lived in Bozeman, Billings, Gray Falls, Whitefish, Helena, obviously. But the older I get, the more I can't, I can't, I just want to go south. Got to get, got to get to the Phoenix area. A, for the golf, year round. But just the, it's, the snow's okay. But the, the cold is starting to get to you. The older you get, it's not fun. Uh, did go out Sunday with the little one, took her sledding. That was a blast. Um, my wife was really worried because I, I went sledding too, but with the uh, broken thumb recovery, which is not a hundred percent according to the doctor, but still pretty, we're like, we'll call it 93%. But, uh, that was fun. It was a beautiful day Sunday to go, uh, go sledding. So I will say that, but I can't, the cold, man, the cold is getting to me. Getting to me. Yesterday, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning, driving the sun to the airport so he could uh, head off to his next duty station for the U.S. Army down in Hawaii, or as I'm taught, Hawaii. But um, a little chilly, a little snowy yesterday morning. So at least he's in Hawaii um, for the next three years. He called me in March and said, hey, where, do, where, do, where should I go duty station? Because he's been in Kansas for three years. So the Army's like, we're going to send you someplace nice since we stuck you in Kansas. So they offered him Alaska or Hawaii. And I said, well, let's see. I can come fish in Alaska and hunt. Or I can come fish and golf in Hawaii. So he chose Hawaii, I think, for his own uh, benefit. He also gets to go to Australia for a few months next summer, which is winter there, but still Australia. So best of luck to that little dude. Not so little anymore, but uh, we already miss him. He's home for six weeks, now gone for the next three years. So, All right, let me take a break. We'll come back. When we return, we'll check in with football. Kyle Mahelish will join us, the Capitol High football coach. Uh, Levi Weshi will join us Thursday, Bozeman coach. We'll talk to Alex Eshelman tomorrow about the Cat Grizz game and uh, also Sam Herter tomorrow. But when we come back... It's Kyle Mahelish joining us. And the opening segment, The Walk Up, brought to you by Montana Custom Log Homes, the premier log home company in the industry. 
Veteran-owned, family-owned, woman-owned, and operated. 15 different floor plans. You can come in with your own. They'll create a log home that's crafted to last for generations, and they will work with your budget. Get a hold of Montana Custom Log Homes today at yourcustomlog.com. Coming right back, Kyle Mahalish next on The Jason Walker Show. Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality. Because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work. Then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. L&P Grocery offers Boulder a convenient shopping experience, whether you're stopping in for a few things or stocking up for the week ahead. From fresh produce and meat to all the staples you need to feed your family, you'll find it here. L&P Grocery is also proud to have partnerships with local brands and carry products unique to the area. Stop by to exchange propane tanks, pick up fishing tackle, grab your prescription, or get your photo taken at the pitcher kiosk. They're delighted to be the one-stop shop for local area Boulder residents who want Want to support local business? Visit lnpgrocery.com at 215 North Main Street. Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding? We all know you're really thinking about having fun and relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one, play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Mulundy Center, the Copper Club Casino. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Fall is officially here, and now is the perfect time to get your rig tuned up before the big hunt. That means a lift kit from Auto Concepts. An Auto Concepts lift kit will help take you places only the animals can go. And when you do get that big one, make sure you have help to get a home with a winch to pull it out. Or maybe you'll be a good friend and help pull someone out of the snowbank. Check out AutoConceptsHelena.com for more ideas. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. 
Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show, on a Tuesday, just about bedtime. Michigan State just knocked off fourth-ranked Kentucky in double overtime. Boo. Not a Michigan State Sparty. I'm all about the Wildcats. Anyway. Uh, coming up on this day in history, and something else I saw that I'll uh, get to. This segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn in Helena. It is uh, time, though. All right, Sweepy. Ready? Okay. She did this last week. She was asked to, to come back. Say, now joining the show. Now joining the show. On the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. On the Mike um, the- Mike Miller. Mike Miller. State Farm Hotline. State Farm Hotline. Is Capital Coach. Is Capital Coach. Of the unbeaten Bruins. On the cup. <laughs> Kyle Mahelish. Kyle Mahelish. On the Jason Walker Show. On the Jason Walker Show. All right, Coach. It is, uh, well, there's, there, there's only, what, 10 teams playing in the state of Montana, two in the AA. You're one of them. How are you feeling right now? We're good. We're excited. Um, obviously, it's uh, a lot of activity, a lot of uh, outside noise, <laughs> uh, people texting and people calling, which is very welcome, and uh, people are supportive. I mean, uh, you know, the coaches are fired up. The kids are fired up. Uh, got a lot of good community support. Uh, the community is excited, and most importantly, Bruin Nation is uh, excited and got our backs this Friday night. Take me through that semifinal win over Sentinel, a team you had spanked a few weeks before, but uh, a much different game. We knew it was on the line. We knew they'd perform better, and you guys squeaked one out on uh, on Friday night, 21-14. Yeah, we come out the first, uh, we, you know, we started slow against Butte, and we talked about that, mm-hmm. and our goal was to come out swinging, and they, they elected to kick or uh, deferred, and we took the ball. Um, so we, we go down that first drive and punch it in, and we feel feeling pretty good about ourselves. It was nice to see the guys respond that, hey, we need to get going right away. And then we go up 14-0, and then they hit the big, uh, they convert on a third and 15 on a reverse pass which was uh, we were there, but we just didn't make the play. <clears throat> and then they throw, throw a vertical route on our safety, and he's kind of got caught staring in the backfield. And so then all of a sudden it's 14-7. And then we go up uh, 21-7, and it's like, okay, feeling pretty good. We, we're moving the ball. We're playing good defense. And, and then on the ensuing kickoff, they run the kickoff return for a touchdown. So it's 21-14, and – that's what it was in half, and that's what it ended, obviously. I thought our kids played played well. I think our defense carried us. I would have liked to have seen ourselves score another time. We missed the field goal that probably would have put the game away near in the, the quarter, end of the third quarter, maybe. Um, so, but, I, you know, it's playoff football. It's championship football. You know, this will be the seventh state championship I've coached in, and it's a grind the whole way. I mean, it doesn't, mm-hmm. you're not, you know, it's not going to be a 42 to six ball game. It's going to be every possession counts. You can't turn the ball over. Um, it's a big game come Friday, but yeah, our boys played well. Obviously last Friday, I was happy with our defense. We need to get, we need to get a few more points. Hopefully. Well, you speak of that defense and interceptions in the last couple of minutes come up big. Um, Quinn Hansen, Tyler Kovic, uh, we all know the Kovic name, but uh, yeah. you, you would have liked and also to have Nick Michelotti had one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, in the last couple of minutes, those guys see oh, yeah. it. But the Michelottis, I mean, 87 yards and 
it's just an all around great performance, but you know, you, you capitals built on running the football and defense. Everybody's known that for what? 40 some years now. Yeah. And, Since 1974. And it's never changed. So um, you guys are riding that right now. You can tell. Yeah. It's uh, you know, we're, we're not flashy. We do throw the ball down the field. We do have a few trick plays here and there. Defensively we line up and, you know, our coaches do a good job of preparing offense and defense. And, you know, obviously you got to have horses to get this mm-hmm. far. Uh, we certainly have some uh, athletic kids, very good football players. You know, even better yet, they're good kids. It's been a it's been a good group to coach, a joy to coach. Um, you know, and they say when you go to work and it doesn't feel like work, that's a good thing. Yeah, for sure. As we talked to Capital Football Coach Kyle Mahelish, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. You bring up Bozeman, Levi Weshi. Uh, he's got a state championship under his belt. And, uh, I mean, this is a, go- a really good football team that, you know, I-, I-, I think people thought, you know, maybe Bozeman would take a take a downturn when Gallatin started. But here are the Hawks right back in the championship on Friday night. No, certainly, like you said, Coach Weshi does a great job. Yeah, he's a Solid football coach. He has a good staff. They are. They have great football players. I mean, we knew it going in in game one. Like, wow, this is, you know, what better way to start off your season? I mean, we knew we were good or could be good uh, going into Bozeman and then hosting West, one and two in the East. Mm. So we've been battle tested. I mean, I, we've played some good football teams over these last 11 weeks. And, uh, yeah, Coach West, he has a heck of a group. Well, I'm going to ask you where it starts, right, at the quarterback position with you guys, but it starts with them, too. Garrett Dulkey is – or not uh, – Jake Casagrande. Casagrande. Right? Casagrande is a, a special kind of guy, too, at quarterback, and that's what it takes in the in all sorts of football, at all levels, to, to have success, and it starts with him right there for the Hawks. No, it does, and he's good. I mean, he's a big kid. He's 6'4", probably 215, 220 pounds. He's more of a pocket kid, but when they break – when he breaks the pocket, he can go. I mean – He's very athletic, and he throws a great ball. There's not a lot of kids in high school football. Uh, when they, and, you know, you got the Rocky Lincioni kid, who's a great receiver, mm-hmm. you know, watching them all last weekend. And then this week so far, um, you got the Casa Grande kid on the left hash. They're going into their scoreboard off their sideline. He throws a vertical route to Rocky Lincioni on the money outside the numbers on the opposite side of the field, about 30, 40 yards downfield. And it's like, hmm. There are too many high school kids that can do that. <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to be – our defensive line are, is going to have to be extremely active in passing situations. we got to be able to get after him. You know, his brother, number eight, the running back, he does a great job. He's <clears throat> he's, a, he's a big, tough kid. He's only a sophomore, but, boy, is, stature-wise, he looks like he's certainly a senior. And, you know, they have other guys. I mean, their offensive line is big. Their right tackle is – you know, he's tall of six seven, two hundred and eighty five pounds. So wow. there's some big boys there <laughs> and uh, defensively they play well. They play hard and fast and they run to the ball and they're active and they communicate and they're there for a reason. Well, so are you guys, and that, like I said, it, it includes running the football, but yet you look at Bozeman, they put up 265 on the ground last week. This is another team that can run the football, so uh, this could be a quick game on Friday night, the way you guys uh, push it push it through the lines. Well, sure, every possession is going to count because you don't know how many you're going to get, obviously, unless the defense creates turnovers. But, uh, you know, two weeks ago, so, yeah, you watched the game last week against Glacier, and they ground and pound. They rushed the ball 36 times, like you said, for over 260. The week before, they are throwing the ball all, the, all over the place against Glacier. Mm. So, and it, I'm not, it kind of looks like the tail of two offenses, but I know Coach West, he always settles in on a game plan. You know, he, probably, he obviously thought that he could throw on – Glacier and and uh, run the ball versus Gallatin. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he wants to do. Yeah, because you don't know. Uh, what did they do that worked well in that first matchup of the season way back in August in, in much different weather? Well, you know, I think we're both trying to find ourselves and find our identity and what, where are we good at. And obviously we've changed. He's changed quite a bit, and obviously we have as well. As far, as far as formations and personnel and who you can trust and where you want guys in certain places versus certain 
sets and defensive matchups and schemes and offensively. So, uh, you know, we, we did go back and look at that first. I mean, that first game was long ago, and we we took out the things that uh, I'm working, I have been working on the last couple of days on what they had success against us uh, doing, and we're working on those. Uh, but, again, you know, it's everybody changes in this type of the year. You know, they're a little bit different than they were 11 weeks ago. Kyle Mahal is joining us, Jason Walker Show. A couple final quick ones for you, but uh, I know – you got a lot of guys playing in that maroon and silver. Are you a are you a Grizz guy this week? Are you a Grizz guy in general? Uh, no, I'm neither. I guess, and I, I say that wholeheartedly because I have a hard time. You know, when you coach a kid for four years and then he goes off to Bozeman or Missoula, I have a hard time rooting against one of your own. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I won't root against Marcus. I won't root against anybody on the Cats. And, you know, we have talent going there. In the years past, we had the Daily Boys, and many many guys have gone on to both sides of the state. So we're just going to enjoy it. Who wins? You know, <laughs> part of me says the Grizzlies because they have so much to play for. The Cats are in it. They'll probably host a first-round game. There's a lot on the line for the Grizzlies. So I think the Grizzlies going extremely fired up because I think if they win, even if with, with three losses because of the NC2A, how they work, they'll want to make money. Yep. And they'll find a way to get a home field advantage game first round to Missoula. That's my thoughts. But I, you know, I might be leaning a little more towards the Grizzlies because they have a lot at stake. Well, let me ask you this. You coached against and, and coached, a lot of these guys that are going to play in this game. Let's start with Marcus. How do you negate him? Kind of like NDSU did it with Troy Anderson last year in the championship, but how do you take Marcus and Patrick O'Connell out of the game? Well, I know they do so much blitzing. You got to be able to be on the perimeter. You got to be able to create some mismatches. And, you know, I think the cats, maybe if the Grizzlies want to continue to blitz inside and do those types of things, you lose linebackers on the perimeter as far as scraping. And Tommy Mallott has made his <laughs> made his money out being off the edge and running the zone read scheme and uh, being uh, an option type guy on the perimeter. I see that they're doing a little bit with that, a uh, little of that with him. So I mean, it's going to be when you blitz, you got two things that can happen. It, you know, obviously it's going to work. Or it, it, we talk about this all the time as a staff. If it's unsuccessful and you miss an assignment when you're man coverage, it's a touchdown. Mm. So are the Grizzlies willing to gamble with that? And I'm sure they are because that's their, their scheme. But Bozeman does so many different things with motion and formations and getting on the perimeter. And I know Coach Armstrong very well, the offensive line coach, played with him at, in college at Western. And the Cats are averaging nearly 300 yards a game on the ground. Yep. So that's pretty impressive. Okay, I so, called Coach Armstrong the other day and congratulated him, and he didn't have much to say. But we got more games to play. <laughs> typical coach. Typical coach. Yeah. Uh, well, let me ask you this: You coached against Tommy. How do you how do you contain Tommy Malott? I don't know if you can. <laughs> I mean, you know, the kid does such a good job. The thing I worry about with him is, you know, when when hopefully he doesn't take that hit. Right. Um, no, Tommy's a good football player, and he's going to get his. I don't think you can you, – you can't stop him. You can maybe control kind of some of the things he does with assignment football, but you know, it kind of makes me nervous when you're blitzing all the time. The, the guy that has Tommy better better have Tommy. So, Is he a better thrower than he was at, at Butte High? You know, watching him against, what was that, Idaho State? I was pretty impressed with him when he was getting the ball down the field. You know, I kind of laughed at that, too. Um. Was that a week ago? Yeah. Couple, yeah. So they played Cal Poly last week. A couple weeks ago, yeah. So when it was third and long near the end of the game, what, a minute 20 left, I was kind of watching in and out. I'm going, well, maybe I'll tune into this cat game. Oh, that... So you see Tommy Milan on the third and long break the pocket and go, well, I've seen that before. <laughs> now he's going to the sideline, and he throws it up. <clears throat> and lo and behold, who is catching the ball for, for about an 80-yard gain is uh, Taco Dowler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And I went, well, if they're doing it in the big sky, I really don't feel that bad anymore when they used to do that stuff to us. So uh, that was impressive. That, yeah, that was the uh, that was the NAU game two weeks ago. That was I thought it was all said and done, and then boom, here we go. Uh, sure. Yeah, NAU. Yep. That's why you can never uh, count out Tommy Malott. He. No, Tommy right. football, you know, and it's such, right. he's had so much pressure on him since last year and he just keeps living up to that expectation. It's amazing. Oh, he, yeah. I, I, I knew him just through coaching against him in the double a, not getting to know him as a young man, but uh, we talked with coach gray last summer and asked if we could uh, borrow Tommy to talk to our kids about, you know, what it takes to be a winner and, some of the characteristics it may have. And he's not a real vocal kid, but mm. after one of the camp nights at camp, at the cat camp, Tommy agreed to come over and talk to us. He talked to us for about 10, 15 minutes and he had a good message. And the kids were really impressed. And all of us coaches were impressed. And there's a reason why he is who he is. I mean, he's a man, of, he's a young man of good character and works hard. Um, Obviously, a good football player. He's tremendous in the classroom, from what they say, and mm-hmm. he's just one of those all-around guys. All right, final question. It is National Raisin Brand Day. What's your favorite cereal? Well, you know, it's funny you say that. It's, it's Raisin Brand. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> if I'm a, if I go to a cereal, it's Raisin Brand. Okay. My kids think I'm crazy. I, why, never... why are you eating Raisin Brand? There's raisins in there. I said, Yeah, I know it's good. I like raisins. Oh. But not in my milk and cereal. Really? Yeah. No, oh, I when I go to the store to get cereal for myself, it's raisin bran all the way. Okay. Well, there you go. So happy National. Ra- you should have a bowl uh, today to, to celebrate your little. Yeah, maybe when, while you're watching the phone here, when you're watching that film at midnight, because I know you, um, yeah. you know, game planning and and grading papers. I don't know how you can do both at once, but grab a little right. bowl, of, bowl of Raisin Bran right there. That's and, right. Uh, I will. I'll have a bowl of Raisin Bran on National Raisin Bran Day. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Coach, uh, appreciate the time all year. Uh, looking forward to chatting next uh, week with you as well. And uh, I can't I can't tell you go Bruins because I'm a Bozeman Hawk. You know, I, I not, class, yeah. class of 93. So I can't. All right. You got to stick with your guys. I, uh, yeah, and I got Weshy coming on on Thursday, so I can't, you know, just, I can't blow off my Bozeman guys. How about if I just go, I hope it's a good game to both of you? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and I'm going to, I'm going to watch it from home. That's a good administrative answer. Yes, good political. I'm, I'm rooting for both. That is what Tim McMahon does when you guys play Crosstown. I'm rooting for both. That's right. (laughs) Hey, appreciate the time, Coach, and uh, good luck Friday night at home. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. That is Kyle Mahelis joining us on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. It's not just a bundle. It's your home. It's your auto. It's your life. Mike understands that. Get a hold of Mike Miller State Farm in Helena today. Going to be a good game. Bozeman, Capital. Capital in the championship for the first time since 2011. I think Bozeman's uh, last trip was 2019 when they won it all. And we will get that Bozeman Hawk helmet put up in here, so... All right. Once again, you've got uh, Cats Grizz this weekend. Who are you taking? You can weigh in on any of the high school playoffs as well. Championships Saturday and Friday night. And, of course, Cat Grizz. Just go to Jason Walker Show on the Twitter, at Walker Sports as well. All right. We'll take a break. We'll come back. This segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. We'll uh, get you set for tomorrow, wrap things up, and go from there. This is the Jason Walker Show. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena.
Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality. Because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. L&P Grocery offers Boulder a convenient shopping experience, whether you're stopping in for a few things or stocking up for the week ahead. From fresh produce and meat to all the staples you need to feed your family, you'll find it here. L&P Grocery is also proud to have partnerships with local brands and carry products unique to the area. Stop by to exchange propane tanks, pick up fishing tackle, grab your prescription, or get your photo taken at the pitcher kiosk. They're delighted to be the one-stop shop for local area Boulder residents who want Want to support local business? Visit lnpgrocery.com and at 215 North Main Street. Fall is officially here, and now is the perfect time to get your rig tuned up before the big hunt. That means a lift kit from Auto Concepts. An Auto Concepts lift kit will help take you places only the animals can go. And when you do get that big one, make sure you have help to get a home with a winch to pull it out. Or maybe you'll be a good friend and help pull someone out of the snowbank. Check out AutoConceptsHelena.com for more ideas. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding. We all know you're really thinking about having fun or relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one. Play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Lundy Center, the Copper Club Casino. TunePocket.com This is the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show. Final segment on a Tuesday brought to you by the Copper Club Casino. Hot games, warm folks, cold beer and drinks of water. Stop in next time you're on uh, Euclid and Helena, right next to the Cafe Zydeco. So college game day is going to be in Bozeman. Who should the celebrity guest picker be on Saturday? We've 
seeing Flint Rasmussen, J.K. Simmons, little Troy Ross would be fantastic. Uh, you'd weigh in with yours at J. Walker Sports on uh, the Twitter. Who should be the guest picker? And uh, we'll uh, we'll keep it open all week. So uh, let's see. What else did I see about that? Um, we did talk about a little bit at the beginning how eerily similar this game is to last year. The Cats tied for the Big Sky Conference lead with Sac State. Uh, win would give them the share. Uh, of course, a win and a Sac State loss would get the outright and probably a two seed. As of right now, they'll probably be a three seed. They lost last year, dropped all the way to the eight seed, did have that week off, and then made that great run with Tommy Mallott all the way and others to the uh, national championship game. Grizz facing a must win this week. If they lose, I don't think they make the playoffs. That would be four Division I losses, and I don't think they make it. If they win, definitely in. But lots on the stake, or on, lots at stake this week when uh, the Cats and the Grizz play. Speaking of the Cats, the basketball team, men out at Oregon and losing at halftime 34-22. Uh, Cats are shooting just under 28%. So uh, down in Billings, MSUB leading Rocky men 51-35. So there you go. Uh, what else did we see? I think that was about it. Tomorrow, big show, Sam Herder will join us, Hero Sports FCS. Talk to us about Cat Grizz, playoff implications for everybody. Also going to uh, chat with Alex Eshelman about the Cat Grizz game. Not much else besides state championships. Of course, you got Bozeman Capital for her, uh, but she'll be at that Cat Grizz game in Missoula. And uh, we'll talk to her about that. Uh, let's see. It is November the 15th. It is National Spicy Hermit Cookie Day. Raisin Brand Day. We talked with Coach Mahalish about that. He loves Raisin Bran. Philanthropy Day, Clean Out Your Refrigerator Day, and America Recycles Day. On this date, 1946, Ted Williams picked as the American League MVP. 1960, Elgin Baylor of the Lakers scored 71 points against the Knicks. Roger Maris voted MVP of the American League on this date. In 1961, that was the year he hit 61 home runs. Uh, 1968, it was the first date in the controversial book Ball Four by Jim Bowden called The Baseball Diary. It's a fantastic book. I actually got it for a quarter at the Yankton, South Dakota Public Library. Gosh, 1992. And I've probably read it 25 to 30 times. Fantastic book. Ball Four, Jim Bowden. 2004, on this date, Maria Sharapova became the first Russian to win the tennis season-ending WTA Tour Championship. She also won Wimbledon that year. Happy birthday, great golfer. Retired on her own terms, won the British Open in 2007, and a uh, ANA Inspiration in 08, born in Guadalajara, Mexico. Lorena Ochoa, always appreciated her game. Uh, King Gillette patented the Gillette razor blade on this date in 1904. Some of what happened on this day in history. The Jason Walker Show is produced. We don't want to do that. Let's do this. We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk off. Walk off brought to you by Cafe Zydeco, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky. Stop in for the best Cajun this side of New Orleans. Uh, one more thing on this date in 1777, the Articles of Confederation, the First Constitution of the United States approved by the Continental Congress. How about them apples? Still need to, uh, they still re, re, uh, mean a lot today, 200 plus years later. Is that 242? Uh, not, not sure if you saw this. I read this online today. Uh, talking about the Cat Grizz rivalry. Dude in Missoula says, the Grizz, quote, encapsulate what it means to be a true champion, end quote. You know how you know where my allegiances lie. You know where they are. And it's funny, everybody talks about the streak. Okay, well, that's over. Cats had a huge streak in the 50s and 60s. Um, 
everybody talks about the Grizz overall record with 73, 40 some and one, something like that. But what people don't remember is that for a lot of those games, the Grizz dominated an early part of that rivalry because they played at a higher level. They were always a division above MSU. It'd be like, um, well, like MSU being Rocky in basketball, D2, NAI. Cats were NAI. Grizz were D2 for a long time. And then Cats were D2, and then D1, AA, and now it's SES. But since they combined to become in the same league in the Big Sky Conference, same division, same everything, it's about an even record. It's about 500. So don't give me that. Also, three to two. Three national championships, two national championships. 1956 doesn't count. It was NAI. D2 doesn't count. No, it does. Cats also have a lot more national championships as a school. UM has the two. I believe the Cats are up to 13 or 14 now. Depends on if you add that gaming championship they won from Barstool a couple years ago. I remember talking to the kids about that. So, you know where my allegiances are. You can weigh in. Who wins? Cat Grizz at Jay Walker Sports. Who wins the state championship games this weekend? Also at Twitter, at Jay Walker Sports. You can email Jason at jasonwalkershow.com as well. Thanks to Kyle Mahalish for joining us. Always a pleasure to chat with him. We'll talk to Bozeman coach Levi Weshi on Thursday. Coming up tomorrow, a big show. Hero Sports FCS guru Sam Herder will join us from Minnesota. Also going to check in with SWX, ABC Fox, Montana sports reporter Alex Eshelman for the Eshel Special. And it'll be a special Eshel Special with Cat Grizz Week upon us. Thanks to all of our great listeners, support, phone calls, tweets, emails. Our sponsors couldn't do it without you as well. We'll see you tomorrow right here at Jason Walker Show. Make sure you go to jasonwalkershow.com anytime, anywhere. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.